Hello everyone, this is your boy Stick, uh, King, King of the Cuts. I'm getting ready to show you how to mount up a beard unit. Yes, that's right, a beard unit. So here we have a color that actually matches um, my natural gray and white. Um, first step is to trace the, the style of beard that is intended for the client. I'm doing it on myself, so I'm actually wanting it to be rounded. <clears throat> I'm gonna use this little jinky uh, <laughs> curve comb, beard comb that I uh, purchased from the beauty supply store. You can purchase these at the beauty supply store. They are, they're beard combs, and it makes it easier for those of us that um, can't make them fast enough or need to, you know, need to make sure that it's even on both sides. As long as you can even them up, you should be able to finish the rest um, of the style by itself from there. So I use a chalk pencil uh, just to do that. And I'm gonna do the bottom as well as I can. I think I was sharpening the pencil right then. <clears throat> okay, so. desired line of wherever you want it to be um, I chose to do mine right here uh, no particular reason why uh, it's really the, uh, the you know the choice of whatever you want to choose it's further down lower higher I just need a definite definition line is what you're really making this out to be it doesn't have to be perfect this line won't won't stay here it's just to give you an ash line, something to give you a little background on how far you don't want to put the hair. Okay, so once we have the hair lined up on the top and the bottom, uh, what's needing to be done, uh, you're gonna need to put the little patches that's needed to be placed on the cheek. So uh, I've already cut these pieces out. I had pre-cut them out before the video, but this is the lace cap that I put on, um, actually to uh, put over the skin prior to uh, putting glue or anything going what we're going to do is just place it right there it's no particular way you just want to be able to fill it in not past that line you want to stay within the two white lines top and bottom and this is pretty much about the size that it is it sits right in here you're going to glue it right there and once again it doesn't have to be perfect you want to leave a gap you know, around sides. Doesn't necessarily, ne doesn't necessarily have to hit the top of that line either. And I think in the video I made it on the top right then, but it's no, it's no biggie on that. Just make sure it's not going past those white lines, top and bottom. I made two of them so it'll already be prepared when I get ready to glue one, let it dry. I can go ahead and go straight to the next one. Now, depending on the, for, on the person's jawline, they might be a little smaller, a little bigger. How much you want to cover is really up to the discretion of the barber or the person that's putting it on.
Okay. All right, so once we have the pieces that, uh, that are gonna be placed onto the jaw, uh, what we're gonna do now, once that's all good, you, we're gonna cut the little hair that's left, if it's any hair. You wanna make sure that it's all cut. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut those little pieces that I don't have. Maybe a little peach fuzz that's there. And a, just a tad, tad piece of this little hair right here on the chin. Don't have, it, it doesn't have to be perfect. We just need to get some of this hair out of our way. It doesn't need to be matted up on the hair that's that on the, on a piece of uh, lace cap that's going to be placed right there. There's no sense having that hair there, so we're going to just go ahead and cut that hair off the client or yourself. Okay, so the next procedure, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my ghost bond glue and put it straight on the area where I'm gonna put <clears throat> my lace front patch on. Um, most people have a protection, skin protection that you can put on here, Morning Glory, some other products that you can use. It really is just the discretion of um, you or the client or um, you just feeling like that's a better um, solution when it comes to you mounting on. In, uh, install for a customer to protect yourself um, this glue does not irritate the skin at all uh, it comes off very easy with um, rubbing alcohol um, and that glue actually holds for three to four weeks it is sweat resistant we have solutions that you can put sweat resistant spray on or even for those that sweat heavier um, so what I'm gonna do is put this patch directly on the skin and you don't necessarily have to put it all the way at the top like I did you can leave a little uh, for one fourth an inch maybe a little less than that um, from there but I just rub it down rub it all the way under you want to make sure that your edges are all pressed down all glued down I'm kind of particular about my edges and things so I always try to make sure that there's nothing that's going to come up we don't need any failures we don't need any embarrassment um, <laughs> or me or my customers so I suggest that you do put enough glue on on the top and the bottom. This glue is um, it's strong. It's strong as I don't know what. Um, it's one of the best ones that I've used in a while. I still use my gray glue. We're going to use that out here as well, that um, gray bonding glue uh, to put on. But what I'm doing here is just doing, a, I guess, a, like with a nail tack, glue tacking it down around the edges. Um, making sure that it's not going to move, not going to come up, not going to loosen. And I'm going to do the same thing to the opposite side. Okay, so the next step is to get our perimeters done. We're gonna use this ghost bond again. We are putting ghost bond around the perimeter of the beard, starting from the top, um, and we're working with our, within our lines. 
um, all the way even on the bottom. We're doing both sides. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to do one. We take one strip of hair. Doesn't have to be too long, but it definitely needs to be long enough to come from the top of the ear, um, where the sideburn is, all the way down to the bottom of my goatee, um, right side, left side. Uh, I, I'm teasing his hair right now to uh, show you that the procedure uh, needs to not have a wave pattern. If your hair has it, if your hair, the pack of hair that you bought has waves in it, I'm just taking a light comb or a finger, twisting, combing it, teasing it, just making it fuzzy looking. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lay it straight, straight on that hair. I start from the top. Uh, sideburn area. I press it down just lightly. Um, might need a little bit more glue on there. I think in the video I'm actually going to be putting more glue and more more um, pressure on that, but it doesn't need to be too much pressure. You really just need the lower part of that hair just to tack, just to, just to glue down, just a little bit. So you're lightly pressing it down. That glue is very good. You don't have to worry about it coming off. If you can get it on there, it's not going to go anywhere. I can guarantee you that. And once again, people, you see that I'm just doing a press. It's been sitting on there, I want to say about a minute. It's still kind of loose. You want to just make sure that it's tacked down before anything else works or it's going to go further. You need to make sure that those perimeters are all down. You want to make sure that they're all down. Just a light pat. Just every so often, that glue is going to dry slowly. But once it does, nothing is going to let it go. Uh, it's not going to let go of anything that's laid, laid against it. So um, I don't need to press down. I do need a little fuzzy. See, it's a little thick in there. That's fine. We're going to use some clippers and cut that. Okay, so here we are on my left side. We're doing the same thing. Just get my perimeters done, laid out. You see, uh, still got them loose. Got wild hairs, yeah, but we're not worried about that. We're barbers. We're good stylists. We're, with, we're the people that actually want knowing what this is supposed to look like. So we're going to take care of that for you. I'm doing the perimeter again on the opposite side. Once it's all laid down, bottom, top, and the side, I have a gap open. I'm going to put the gray glue down halfway on this one. Um, and then I'm going to use the ghost bond um, around the areas that are light. I chose this I, this method of using both of the glues, um, particularly particularly because of my skin complexion, um, of knowing that as it gets closer down to my mouth, I know that people are going to stand on the side and see whether or not that actually is a real beard or not. And they're going to be able to see that coloring of my skin under it. So I wanted the glue to be there and the white to be there um, because I know this white glue turns clear after it dries. Um, and all I'm going to do is just patch it in every so often around the perimeters where I know it's going to be seen. And I'm going to take a, a, a batch of hair. I'm going to take a batch of hair and we're going to stick it right in that hole where the gray and the white hair is. You see the opposite side is already there. I'm going to show you what I actually did. Okay, we popped it right in there. It doesn't need to be pressed too hard, but we do need it in there good. We're going to need that hair in there good. You're going to have quite a bit of hair fall out, but don't worry about that. That's part of the procedure of some of it glued down and tacked in and some of it didn't. So press it in there real good. Keep it in there for a minute. You know, give it some time. I didn't have my blow dryer or was on it. I, if I would have been doing another client, I probably would have dried it a little bit faster, but I was doing myself. Uh, just there's a, a lot of things to be having on the counter. I really didn't feel like going through that. Okay, so while that's doing that, I need to remind you all to please go and sub subscribe to my channel at Ken King of the Cuts. That is K E N K I N G O F T H E C U T S. Ken King of the Cuts. I am on Instagram. This is a full beard after it's already filled in. You cut it however style that you're needing it. I chose this style right here. Um, it's comfortable. Um, it worked. Um, Guys, I tell you, this thing lasts for four weeks. This is how my face was before. Uh, I cut my goatee down. That's the only little piece of goatee that I had. Uh, I was proud of it. But I have to tell you, uh, now I am just, if not 
as proud as this one, uh, this beard that I've come up with, and I've had nothing but total compliments on it. Um, if you got up close to it, you'd say the same thing. It's only light maintenance. We're going to another uh, up, procedure, another video, and I'll show you, tell you how to take house, care of it. In the barbershop, getting ready to um, do a client that has yet have seen me since I put this beard on. I know some of y'all had some questions about the beard, um, the, the beard unit that I am wearing. Uh, and I would like love for y'all to DM me, let me know how you feel about it. Um, I've get, been getting nothing but great responses from it um, inside and outside of my area. I've been in uh, a few stores, department stores.